So we're going to start this fly with any light cream thread and any standard dry fly hook from size 12 to 8. Now we're going to use some of that floaty, funky, synthetic yarn, whatever you want, whatever, whatever name you want to call it. And I double that up, it usually comes off a roll at a certain thickness, I double that up. And then I bend it over the thread and pull that thread that right down on top of the hook. Then I start my, my figure eight. Figure eight that in like a wing. Now we're gonna tie in a couple strands of deer, white deer tail. For the tail, measure the tail. Make sure it's the right length. Tie that in. I like to wrap that deer high hair all the way up, right up to the wing. So and it starts to make the tapered body. So I have to use less thread and less dubbing to make a nice tapered cone shaped body. Now I'll just trim that excess tag ends of the deer hair, the butt ends of the deer hair, stuff you're not gonna keep on the fly. Oh, sorry, this is Tuesday at 4 instead of Monday at 4, but the lovely Tracy has been sick, so we had to do it today. Took her to the doctor and yet to see what's going to happen, the outcome of what Tracy's going to have to go to the hospital or stay at home is yet to be seen, so. Oh, and go check out a Tracy channel to support her right now links in the first link below this video now we're gonna dub this with any white dubbing I did some with UV some with uh, this rabbit double with guide hairs. I do both in all three sizes. Now you're gonna trim off all them guard hairs that stick out way too, at least I do. Um, I fish this when the sun goes down late at night about this time of the year. You can see it at night and then it kind of looks like a drake or any of the big drakes um, if you tie it in a size 12 kind of looks like a smaller mayfly but it's deadly at night so and it kind of looks like a coffin fly too so that's what I use it for and it's deadly try it at night when the sun goes down now I tie in I'm using a saddle hack that's light cream. You could use a white or a really light done um, hackle as long as it's really light color. And I tie that in. And I'm gonna wrap that towards the eye. Well, wrap it three times before behind the wing, and two times in front of the wing, and tie it off. Warm your head. But we're not done, don't go anywhere.
might notice that our hackles aren't perfectly lined up. They're kind of going different directions. In fact, I like that look for this fly. I think it, it, it tends to make it more deadly. When I spent a lot of time making my hackles look perfect, wing look perfect, the fly didn't work as much. So I don't know if it's supposed to look like uh, our tid moth, maybe. I don't know. To measure that length of that wing, that synthetic wing, you can always use it by measure it by using the shank of the hook as a measuring guide. Not many tires tell you this, but it's a secret, little secret. Just measure, turn the old another hook and use that as a guide. I hope you like that best damn nighttime fly ever. Um, go, please go down and check out Tracy's channel right below. The first link below this video and support her channel too. By and you can check all these flies out in action and see the fish we catch with them. Um, check out the videos above me. Keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish. A sore lip. You all have a great, awesome day. See you next Monday. Have four.